Hello YouTube, Droid Review here. Hey, um, in this video I am going to be going over the installation of uh, APKs, which basically is an application on your Android phone. It's essentially the same thing as installing an executable file on your computer. For those that don't know what an executable file is, it's pretty much uh, a, a software program made for your computer with the uh, file extension of .exe. Well, the file extension of programs for an Android phone is APK, you know, standing for Android Package, um, I guess. But um, so what I'm going to be going over today um, is basically the installation of that. The purpose of it is that, um, you know, for instance, if you find some sort of application online or a friend gives you one, you'll be able to install it with this tutorial with ease. Um, first things first, uh, some ground rules I'm going to go over is make sure you have these installed first. This program right there, it's called EOE App Installer. It's that one, sorry, it's kind of hard to see. Um, and then um, go ahead and install Astro File Manager. Uh, that one's a good one to have. And um, another one that you might want to get is OI File Manager. Um, OI File Manager is not really needed at this point, but it's also good to have if you're going to be doing the whole APK thing. Um, all right, so as you can see, I have beautiful widgets running on here. Um, what that is, is the latest version of Beautiful Widgets. As you can see, it's not my cool HTC one because uh, the latest version of Beautiful Widgets um, does not is not allowed to have that HTC looking uh, custom widget anymore because HTC gave them a cease and desist letter because um, they felt Beautiful Widgets was infringing on their design. So unfortunately, um, they had to take it down. For those of us that are still or still have the APK to the old version available, um, we can still install it using the installation of custom APKs. Is what I'm going to be showing you now. Um, another thing uh, that got leaked is the uh, HTC Aris's keyboard um, is now on the Droid, which is really cool. Um, if we go right here and we click on our screen, now we have a um, HTC keyboard, which honestly I think is hands down one of the best keyboards I've seen on this phone or any phone. The um, auto correction, prediction, and dictionary on this phone is is fantastic compared to most. Um, so I'm going to show you how to install that custom keyboard, beautiful widgets using APKs. So first things first, please, please make sure you read the video description on the right hand side of the movie there. Uh, please click on more info and it'll give you exact instructions on how to do this. Um, it's also going to give you some links on what uh, files need to be downloaded in order to do this on your phone. Okay, so once that stuff is downloaded, please make sure you save it to your desktop. So uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, I'm going to go and uh, transfer uh, all the files to my SD card. So what we're going to do is plug in our trusty USB cable here. We're gonna go ahead and mount our whoops, we're gonna go ahead and mount this. Once that's mounted, go ahead and set the phone down here. We're gonna go over to my computer. Um, and there's our SD card. A little slow there for some reason. Um, so as you can see, we have you know a ton of stuff on there. If you downloaded everything correctly, you should have um, you know, here's the old version of Beautiful Widgets. Here's that keyboard. And one extra thing, a custom lock screen. Um, if I have time, I'm going to show you exactly uh, how to install that. So first things first, you're going to want to go ahead and double click on the um, uh, this, this keyboard. Um, and it's going to have three files here. So you're going to go ahead and extract them all to your desktop. Okay. Once that's extracted to your desktop, um, you're going to see... Uh, the three files on your desktop instead of just the zip file. Um, you're going to take those three files and put them directly on your SD card. And they're going to be the uh, these ones right here, exactly like that. Okay. Um, so you're going to take these three. It's clicker.apk, htc underscore imei, um, apk, and htc imee. And we're going to go ahead and just drag and drop just like any other file that we do here so don't put them in any folder put them right on the root of the SD card obviously I already have them on here so I'm not gonna copy them 
Um, along with beautiful widgets, this .com level up beautiful widgets .apk, you're going to go ahead and drag and drop to your SD card, just like I'm showing you here. So just drag and drop it. It's kind of hard here. Don't put it in any subfolder. Once that's copied over, you're going to go ahead and plug your phone back in, or unplug your phone, I should say. Those files are now on your com on your phone, and um, using uh, the EOE app installer is what we're going to use in order to install those. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uninstall everything, um, beautiful widgets that is, and um, and in uninstall this custom keyboard, and we'll go back to stock. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back here, and obviously you, I have no more widget there. Um, the keyboard has been taken away here. Um, if we click on, you know, any of these, uh, you'll see that we have the regular Android keyboard here, okay? Um, so this is real easy. All we do is we open up um, the EOE app installer right here. So go ahead and click on that. It's going to look and find all the APK files on our SD card. I have quite a few on here, so we're just going to pay attention to the ones that I have. Okay, so right here we have uh, Beautiful Widgets 2.36. That's the old version, so we're going to go ahead and long press, meaning push and hold on that file, click on install this APK. It's going to look just like you download it from the market. Obviously, here's all our warnings as usual. Click install. It's going to install. It's pretty quick, just like usual. Click done. We'll go ahead and come back to that one later. The next one we're going to want to do is the keyboard. It's two things. We're going to do the keyboard calibration. So remember, long press, install this APK, click install, click done, and then touch input 2.1.0. So push and hold that one, install this APK, click install. This one's going to get installed real quick here. and it's done all right now that we have those two done um, let's go ahead and install this lock 2.0 real quick here click install click done that's a custom lock screen I'll show you that later um, actually let me just click back there okay so now what we're gonna want to do is is we long press on the go to the widgets go to beautiful widgets see voila it's there again beautiful home now obviously right off the bat you're gonna see at the very bottom there's no skin application which means we have the old version so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my usual nine two three four four whoops nine two three four four take off these I change it to every 30 minutes Forecast opening effect, click OK, voila. So there is the HTC Eris, I would say, a weather and clock widget. Pretty cool. A lot of people have been asking me for, oh, how do you get this? How do you get this? This is a way to do it. Um, I don't condone doing this because, honestly, this is um, this is a way to get an essentially a free application an or, or a backed up application. Um, now, if you do install custom applications, you will never be able to update them because it's not going to show that you downloaded it. So, you know, if, you, oh man, I'm going to get this $19 application. Okay, well, yeah, you're going to get it free, but when there's an update for it that's going to fix certain bugs and force close issues, you're never going to be able to update it because it's not going to, the market's not going to look into it as that you've downloaded it before or purchased it ever. And in fact, when you go to the market to try to download it, it's going to make you buy it. So anyways, so now what we need to do is to in, to um, set up our keyboard here. We go into menu settings, click on language keyboard. Um, we're going to want to go ahead and uh, uncheck swipe. I hate swipe. We're going to want to uncheck Android keyboard, and we're going to check touch input. Okay? It's going to bring up a little attention, attention. Just click OK. Now there are settings in this application here. Um, and what you're going to want to do is, there's all kinds of different stuff in the settings that you can do. Um, you could do like vibrate and sound. Um, the calibration tool is really cool. So if you have big fingers or, or, or you're kind of funky when you text, this actually learns the way you text. It's really cool. I suggest you calibrate before you use it. Um, and you can have all the other settings, obviously. So if we click back here, go back to the home screen. 
there's our beautiful widget as usual and if we go into our um, setting here and type in there there is our, our HTC keyboard which is pretty cool and just like before you know you can sit there and type away all right that is it YouTube um, that's the installation of that keyboard pretty custom we like it all right thank you for watching please remember I don't condone the download of free apps. Go buy them. Support our developers. They do a whole lot of hard work. Thank you again for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. Thank you all out there for who have commented and answered questions for me. Thank you for all your great uh, comments um, and subscribing. That is awesome. This is what keeps me going. Please stay tuned for my next video. Thank you again, YouTube. I'll see you.